are custom roms safe so that is the topic for today's android custom rom basics that are custom roms safe because i get this question a lot and the answer is like you do not have a clear cut answer for starters all roms which are based on aosp sorry i should start using the word most so most roms which are based on aosp which is your android open source project again open source so the source is open and they generally hosted on github or gitlab and it is mentioned in their blogs their xda threads the first post i think has to mention the kernel source for starters rom source is not mandatory i think but the kernel source is mandatory and again open source they generally do mention the link to their github page and here it is we do have the pixel experience source code so any rom which has source code which is open based on aosp i think it is safe can a developer come in and do shady stuff yes heck yes they can do it but then again it's not like maybe there have been one or two cases in the past but it's not like something which is super wide spread so aosp based roms open source generally safe i can say they do not raise a red flag there is no red flag raised as long as the kernel is open source the rom is open source the developer is reliable all those things you need to figure out it's not like it's not there is some other standard industry or other company which is looking over into android custom roms nobody is so you are of course on your own but aosp based roms are safe then we move over to ports now with ports ports cannot be open source right why because you are porting say oxygen os let us take the example of oxygen os now android inherently is open source but then again the customizations which oxygen os one ui they do on top of stock android is not open source so ports inherently cannot be open source the other thing is with a port you are taking something which is not supposed to run on your device and making it run on your device so that is another skill talent you have to debug do small editing all those things so as a developer i don't see them open sourcing their work right because then you also have the other liability of the oem going after you quite possible right oxygen os or oneplus won't want their oxygen os running on say poco f1 they don't want it they want you to buy a oneplus device if you want oxygen os experience that's what as a company they want so somebody using their software running it on some other device is liable to legal action whether you believe it or not so again ports are not open source generally but can ports be trusted again this is a very gray area and you have to do your due diligence your research because of course the developer has to be trustworthy for starters how do you know he is trustworthy well again there haven't been many cases of you know they're trying to steal your data because they're just doing it as a hobby they are porting oxygen os one ui fun touch whatever just for the heck of it just as a hobby just to see what their device can do and whether it can run it or not experiment we like to experiment with our device which is why you are watching this video on android custom rom basics so yeah ports are generally not open source but yes they can be trusted can the developer put in something shady to steal your data heck yes they can do it but they generally do not do it until and unless they have some evil intentions which which is like anybody can have evil intentions right so that is something which you cannot avoid but you just have to be a bit careful say a lot of people are using a port nobody reported anything yeah go ahead and use it right and of course you know those of you who are very curious about the safety aspect and all those things you have tools available on the internet you can use packet sniffers ip sniffers to see if you know your data is being sent over to some server or it is being stolen because me personally i have never heard any instance of say hey munchy i installed this custom rom port and now somebody stole my credit card information or my bank account was hacked because i was using this custom rom so i have never heard those things which is why i say ports are generally closed source but they are also safe to use 